it's Melissa here. We're going to give some more 19.4 tips. Um, I've got kind of a funky setup here. I'm trying to make sure I can get everything in the video and have it at an angle where you can kind of see. Um, we're going to talk about some pull-up and muscle-up tips, but first, uh, the big question I think a lot of you might have is, are extra scaled? Number one question you have to answer to get the right answer is can you safely do the snatch weight for rx 95 pounds for men 65 pounds for women if you struggle with that weight i would highly recommend going scale uh, there's no sense in risking an injury to try to struggle through three rounds of 10 snatches at a weight that's very difficult for you uh, so go ahead and scale the weight if you need to um, scale the workout and you'll be safer for it the other end of that is, do you have bar muscle ups or not? Um, many of you don't yet, but you're proficient at pull ups. Uh, you can do chest to bars. You can link your toes to bar together pretty well. If that's you, I suggest going for it. You got nothing to lose. You might as well give it a whirl and see what happens. Especially those of you that have been able to do the, uh, the muscle up with um, like a red band or a purple band, you should definitely go for it and see what you can do. Um, it's, it's going to be a matter of getting the timing right, most likely. Um, for those of you that don't yet have pull-ups, we're going to work on um, some efficient kip swings and, and see what, what can happen. Um, so first things first, we're gonna, I'm going to go over how to do a good kip swing for the pull-up. The key here is we have to keep a tight body, and we need to remember that we're going to be initiating through the shoulders, pulling the bar back and forth, okay? So let me pull this box out of the way so you can see a little bit better. When you get on the bar, you're going to situate yourself so that your grip, your hands are just slightly wider than your shoulders, okay? You're going to start from the hang here, and I'm going to initiate from my shoulders, and I'm going to keep my body nice and tight. Okay, so you can see that I'm keeping my legs straight and my legs are together, squeezing my legs, squeezing my belly. I'm initiating movement with my shoulders, but my legs are kind of going along for the ride. When I'm ready, I pop the hips and I pull. You gotta kind of scoop the toes forward and then pop the hips up, okay? Sometimes we try to pop the hips when we're just straight down and we don't get anywhere. Um, popping the hips, a good drill for that is to warm up by laying on the ground, okay? You're gonna get in that hollow body position, and then you're gonna pop the hips up. Hips should be off the ground before the feet touch, okay? Next thing you can do to help is set up your princess boxes, okay? We like to call these princess boxes. I don't even know why, I think it's just Kind of the diva move but that's all right whatever helps us right now we're going to go after it because it's the open um so you set these up so that you can stand and still reach the bar from here i'm going to kind of jump back into my hollow position and then i can pull into my arch and then scoop aggressively scoop my toes into that hollow again and then pop the hips and i've got it so it'll look something like this Okay. So you can see you really get a lot more momentum that way because you're kind of getting a lot more height on that initial arch or hollow than you would if you were just going from a dead hang here. Right? So there's that one and then there's that one. So you get a lot more power out of that. Be careful about your shoulders. We really need to work on keeping them active. If we let our shoulders kind of come up to our ears, that may not feel so good. Okay. So those are the pull-up tips I can give you uh, right now. For the bar muscle-up, again, if you haven't done one before, try with the princess boxes, okay? Let me get some jock. First thing you've got to remember is it's not like a chest -to bar okay? It's not where we're gonna, we're gonna do a kip swing, pull, and, and pull our chest to the bar. What we really need to do is pull down on the bar with straight arms as long as possible and get those hips as close to the bar as we can before we pull over, pull ourselves over the bar and pull ourselves to the bar. So we gotta keep those arms straight, pull down, pull down, pull down, and then throw the chest over the bar. So a couple of good 
warm-up drills there would be do a couple of swings and again use these boxes it gets you a little bit of extra momentum okay and this most people also find your grip a little closer for bar muscle ups is a good thing okay so you're gonna do some hips to bar swings just to practice okay so we're gonna get as much height as we can without bending our arms from there we're gonna continue practicing that and then when you feel comfortable, try and see if you can get up and over the bar. Okay? The big thing here is you can't wait to go into that hollow position like we do with our pull-ups. You know, we kind of wait and then go. The timing is the biggest thing that people get hung up on on a bar muscle. We have to pull into that aggressive arch and then before we really think we're ready, we really need to scoop those toes forward, pull into that hollow, and then bring the hips up. Because the hips need to get up to the bar before our momentum is ready to come back the other direction. Okay, that's probably the biggest hurdle people have when they've got the strength, but they're not getting the bar muscle up. So you gotta really think about aggressively scooping into that hollow a little earlier than you might think. 